So our next guest, no introduction needed, one of the sharpest dressed media members out there. Appreciate that. Super Bowl champion, Alabama great Roman Harper. Yesterday we're at Dealey Plaza. Was <laughs> hoping to actually be able to go up the depository, check out exactly where Lee Harvey was. So I'm on the street, Taylor Korn, our social media director, filming a little video. And this Wagoneer, this big burgundy Wagoneer comes by and it looked just like you. And I was like, that looked like Harp. And then they were like, I think he was in a Wagoneer when Seabass picked him up the other night. I was. And the craziest thing is I end up at dinner two nights ago with Seabass and I had never met the guy. Oh, yeah. They're, they're talking about their, 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 their favorite personalities to drive around, uh, the craziest personalities to drive around, and their favorite cars to actually have on the road when they rent. Now, Seabass is an uh, ESPN handler. So yeah, he does, Sebastian. He does, yes, does a yes. little driving. Yeah. He does go by Seabass, though. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so we ran into Harp on Sunday night here at the Omni, and he had forgotten toiletry, so Seabass was coming to pick him up. I didn't know what that meant. had no idea, but then the next night, and he was telling me that you're one of his favorites because the other guy that was with him, um, Parker? Parker had gotten you the scooter that you took oh, yeah. around. Yeah. And he said, man, we don't know where he goes. He's like, I've, I've got it tagged though, where I can find him because he ends up everywhere in all, in all places. No, it's true. Like I, I'm one of those, and I don't like security. I feel like whenever, you know, we bring the security guards around, they're like, oh, let me go with I'm like, no, I don't want you with me because all you do is bring attention. That's right. Like, a man's know, got security. You must be important. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, no, no, no. You just yeah. stay away. These college people don't know who I am. I get to walk around and just look like the older guy just on these college campuses, and nobody <laughs> knows who I am. So it's great. I just go everywhere. I usually yeah. have my scooter. And, like, even at places like Ole Miss, where they have Lime scooters and the yeah. places all around, but they're not allowed in the quad. Or, like, where uh, downtown is, where they have the big circle. Yeah. I don't even know what they call it. Uh, but That's you, the square. Yeah. yeah, the square. So they you don't see any – scooters in the square except mine yeah. and they're like dude how'd you get that down here i'm like oh because they stopped working for students but for me yeah. this is my own so so, so i'm uh, just riding everywhere you'll love this when paul when five bomb was a co-worker of ours he got a death threat that they deemed credible somebody deemed credible so they hired this security firm to protect paul right uh -huh. so paul will pull up to the radio station security guard meets him in his car gets him out walks him in well we were the show right after paul so they they freak out and they're like Security has to walk you to your car every day. We're like, come on, nobody's gonna kill us. We're not finally no, 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 security. And we were finally like, it makes us a bigger target. Like if yeah. we could just walk to our car, nobody knows us. Nobody knows. It, it, that is to me, I, I really try and I truly do live my life that way. And people are like, oh, if anybody's ever tried to say I'm a celebrity or I'm famous, I'm like, look, I'm really not. I'm very a normal person. Yeah. I just worked on TV since I was like 23. Well, before that. And it wasn't a job then, but I've just been on TV for a long time. And that's the only thing that it is. But other than that, dude, I'm really not. I'm kind of the same guy. And I like to keep things low key. I like to be able to venture out and nobody know who I am. I, I should have known you weren't driving because I sent you a text and you immediately sent me back on the golf course with button all the way up. It's 103 yesterday. <laughs> you're playing golf first off. No doubt. You're, you're buttoned all the way up. But the, how swag, miserable, it, how, it, the swag looked great, but how miserable were you? Uh, only time, only reason I was miserable yesterday because we were playing in front of behind two slow groups, oh. and I just like it drives me wild when I have to like hit a shot, then wait twenty minutes or ten, fifteen minutes to hit another shot because you don't have a really any good rhythm. I did make some putts yesterday, so I was good. And then we saw some young boys that just came out of nowhere on hole seventeen, hadn't seen them all day, and all of a sudden this foursome just is in front of us. Uh, but they let us tee it off with them. I mean, I didn't even really ask. I'm like, dude, we're coming. And we're trying to uh, tee off so we can catch That's the right. last bit of this daylight. Hey, we didn't ask you. Do you want a beer? Uh, I mean, I got an ESPN hitting like an hour, but so, I definitely will come back. Okay. okay. What okay. You, we got cold butt light on ice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely coming back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't. That means I can save my money. I'll definitely come back. <laughs> You're per so, diem. Yeah. You got money yeah. that you, yeah. you might be walking out of here. Speaking with. of money, yeah. we got a game that yeah. we're going to play here in a minute. Okay. Uh, at the end of the interview, I want to ask you. You've been around the league now a couple of times. Uh, is there, other than Tuscaloosa, is there a favorite city you like going to that uh, you enjoy the scooter adventures? Oh, so the best scooter adventures, uh, it's usually uh, honest. Uh, I'm trying to think where do I really like. I, li I like Athens a lot. It's got a little bit too many hills. 
but at least everything's kind of in one central location. Also, I've gotten cool with one little frat house that I've ridden going by a couple years in a row, and they just like throw me beers, and we're just like hanging out. <laughs> and they bark at people when they walk by and stuff. It's like I was like, dude, these dudes are crazy, and uh, so that's usually a good time. Um, Knoxville, another place that's too many hills, and then where we usually stay, I, I don't get to scooter life back and forth. But I, I love when we get to stay at somewhere like Ole Miss, where we're usually not that far from from the square. And so I can just take my scooter out, and they're like, you need a ride. I'm like, I don't need a ride, guys. Like, I'm, I'm good for the rest of the day. Just drop me off here, and I, I'm good. Uh, but Ole Miss is always very entertainment just because of what it is, the people, the way they go about their business. Um, Mississippi State, it's more spread out, so where we stay at, I don't get to scooter from there. But I, I like all these places, and everywhere is kind of fun and unique in its own little way. Um, but it's all about the campus life, which is – things that I never got to see as a football player because all you do is show up and go play football. And now that I'm not in that life, I actually get to enjoy the things and get to enjoy the festivities. It is always interesting to me. Roman Harper, SEC Network, with us. Our coverage presented by MyBookie.ag, code next round. When you sign up for MyBookie.ag, they bring you harp throughout the football season as well. Um, I never know what's going to go kind of viral from this show. Yeah. Last time you were on with us, we were a little bit rushed, unfortunately, but last time you were on with us, you described the difference in Kalen DeBoer, or excuse me, the Kane Womack's defense and Nick Saban's defense. Oh, yeah. And what it might mean for the secondary. So people ate that up. Like, I don't know why, because. I think it was a lot of football jargon for you guys. It I, was. I, it, yeah. 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 yeah, remember I said, I, I started off by saying, yeah. uh, people say this defense is easier. Yeah. And you're like, well. <laughs> yeah. It's only easy. yeah, it's so, not. Yes. But then Nick Saban this week, when he picked Georgia and Texas, said there are too many question marks in that secondary. That's what he said. He goes, in got, Alabama secondary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's got, true. Yeah. So uh, he said, I got to see him shore up that secondary first. No, the only thing I, I'm very much so questioning as well is that it's going to be more easier access throws, meaning the quarterback's not going to be able to just – the quarterback's going to be able to pick it up and just throw it out wide. And with Saban's defense, he always had guys in their faces. Right. Like at the nickel, maybe the star was off a little bit, but the corner was always up. And that's not going to look the same as Alabama's defense will be this year. And talking to Coach Kalen DeBoer today, he said they're going to try and do what fits best to the players that they have on the roster. So each year to year, it may look or feel a little bit differently, but he has generally in his mindset what they're trying to get done. Uh, Kane Womack does. I think they're going to be more easier access throws, meaning somebody's going to just pick it up, get the ball, throw it out there. What that does is that puts so much more pressure on your in-game tackling in space. As a secondary, as a linebacker, you can't be flying by, let him cut back, you miss. Now it's a four-yard game that's now a 10-yard game because nobody was close to him early. You got to be able to corral guys, tackle them in space. And what I saw in the spring game, they didn't tackle well in space. It was a lot of missed tackles. And I know we're not going to say, you know, it's just a spring game. We don't want to give it much credit. But sometimes – when a tiger shows you it's got stripes, you better believe it. That's right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you better believe it until they change you who you are. And what Coach Ron Rivera would always tell us is perception is reality until you change it. So the perception for me is that they have to improve in tackling or they're going to struggle tackling in space, which is going to put more pressure on the offense. Now, you can offset that by just being a turnover-creating machine on defense. And then we don't care about stats or numbers. We just got to force turnovers and be good in the red zone. Interesting. Yeah, so 25 and three in two years at Washington. Crazy. And, yeah. And, and so if the secondary does get cleaned up and they end up being good and a receiver or two steps up, this team could be elite. And everybody's talking about Georgia. Everybody's talking about Texas. Alabama is kind of that team that for the first time, I can't remember people not talking about Alabama winning an SEC championship. We're talking about a guy that just played for the national championship with Washington. Why are more people not buying Alabama? Uh, because Alabama's kind of, they've peaked and they have a new coach. And then it's also like Texas is new. It's sexy. You know how it is, man. I, I know you don't know how it is. Sorry, guys. I don't want to put that out there. Anymore. But, you know, when you get something new and shiny, that's what you want to talk about. And that's what Texas is right now. Texas was a year ahead. They went, they went and won the right game. They beat Alabama on the road. And so now, oh, man, Texas is back. They truly were. But still – and I talk to Texas fans, the ones that I know, not the ones that – and I'll describe Texas fans. I've never seen a more confident group. Uh, they are a very, quote-unquote, proud group, right? They they are UT. All right, they think they're a dime, but they're probably like an eight. 
you know? Right, right. <laughs> like, if you look at it, they, like, yeah. you look, they, they're a dime in their minds, but they're really probably yeah, about they, They've had one double digit win season <laughs> yeah. in forever. But, yeah. But can confidence take a six to an eight? Yes, it can. There you go. Yes, it is. Yeah. I mean, if I run a, a, if I run a four six, I tell everybody I run a four four. I might run a four five. That's right. You matter. know what I mean? That's right. Doesn't matter. Yep. But so that's what it's about. And so with Texas, most of the fans and the people that are really close to the the program that used to be in it, they are optimistically a little nervous. Mm -hmm. Meaning, I'm optimistic about this season because we got all the pieces, and we look really damn good on paper. But Oak, but Texas has this unique ability to always slip up. Last year was Oklahoma. There's no Oklahoma wasn't a better team, but Oklahoma kicked the crap out of them up front on defense. Like they beat them down. Uh, Texas did not match up well versus them at all up front on the offensive side of the football. And so Texas has this ability to always let the game slip by that they shouldn't lose. And that's what they've always shown to be. And so until you change that part of it, yeah. then I would be all in. But for me, I'm just a little bit hesitant because they could lose. You know, you can't lose three games. You can maybe lose two, but you can't lose three this year. It's going to be too many other competitive teams right there clawing at it. You will have the advantage because you're Texas and you're in the SEC, but you can't lose three games. And I think they got three games that will determine their whole season. You know, people can talk about Michigan early, but I think they blow Michigan out the water. Michigan's not the same team that competed last year for and won the national championship, not competed for, but won it. But then they have Oklahoma, which Oklahoma's won eight out of the last ten. All right, Oklahoma dominates that rivalry. They really do. They dominate that yeah. rivalry. And they're a better program overall. I know. We talk about it all the time. <laughs> like, I think people envision Texas this infinitely better program. Oklahoma's won more national championships. Everything. More Heismans. That's right. As many, they've won as many games. The only thing Texas has historically, they've yes. owned that, that rivalry. But lately, Oklahoma yes. has. Yes, that's true. Yeah. And, and so they got Oklahoma. They have uh, Georgia at home, which they got to win that game because you let Alabama at the gates a couple years ago. And get in there and yeah. DKR and then get out with a win when you should have beat them. Uh, so you can't let that happen with Georgia. And then at Texas A&M late, um, that would make Texas A&M season. <laughs> they win seven, eight games, and one yeah. of them is knocking Texas off to make sure they maybe fall in the playoffs or yes. don't make it in. Yep. They are gig them all day <laughs> on yeah. that. But but before I forget, like first I want to ask you, can you run a 4-8 sub-40 right now? 4-8? Yeah. Come on, man. Put some respect on my name. Yes, easily. He's not been out of the league that long. Okay, so, well, you'll train for it. I was going to say next year at SEC Media Days, we'll, we'll do. Do I have to be in a suit? No. Oh no, yeah, I got that easy. <laughs> okay. I mean, who are you, Rich Eisen? Yeah, that's not. <laughs> yeah. Like, is it Run Rich Roman? Yeah. I'm Roman Roman Run. I mean, I know you're still in great shape, but but speed does start to decline the older you and, get. And and not only that, but if you're not actively trying to run full speed, right? Yeah. And when's the that's, last time? When's the last time you ran full speed? Uh, man, I I, I did at my son's uh, flag football game. I got a little excited. Oh man, a kid made an interception. Come on, man. So you ran with him oh. all the way down? High stepping in the oh. sideline. <laughs> Go. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I, but, what what do you ever fear you're gonna pop an Achilles? Uh no, I really try and properly stretch. And uh, you know, I try and tell myself, you know, you never see a cheetah run up or warm up before he goes That's right. and <laughs> faces the hunt. You know, you yeah. just freaking go. He's just laying yeah. in the shade. And look, when I was in New Orleans, I we listened to this guy. He wrote a book. It's called The Supple Leopard. And it's really just like a leopard never stretches. But at any point in time, it could jump, jump right up a tree, right? It's always supple. And so I'm trying to always remain in this supple state of mind or this supple state of body where I normally stretch. I do some other things. God, I gotta, I'm always trying to be limber. I gotta and I want to be supple. God, that is, that is well, the, the supple yeah, team, and that's what I was going to get to. You brought up A&M. I have talked myself into believing. That A&M's a team. That A&M's a dark horse team that, that not only could they – because I just trust Mike Elko, and he's yeah. got this Jimbo Fisher talent now, and no nobody's talking about A and M. And I could see them have like a ten and two year if things broke right. Because you look at the schedule, front half of it. If they get by Notre Dame, it, it's it's navig you can navigate that schedule. Yes, um, I think the over under is like eight and a half. So I look. I just talked to the Texas guys earlier, my man Lucci and everybody, and I just I'm sorry. I told them I'm like, look, I'm just a mirror that just tells you exactly who you are when you look at me, all right? I'm just a reflection of who you are. I'm, I have no opinions about it. I'm just being honest. And for Texas A&M, they have let me down way too many yeah. times. And so I'm burned. I'm scarred. You guys should understand this. It's like we expect A&M, and I think not having Jimbo Fisher there, it has lowered the temperature in the room for everybody. The expectations are not as high. 
Like nobody's talking about him, like you're saying. It's just like everything's been lowered down. And I actually think Mike Elko is going to be a better coach for them. I think he is a better coach. I think Jimbo trying to kind of just nature had ran its course. And with Mike Elko, he's still hungry. He did a great job for their defense a couple years ago. And what he did at Duke was unprecedented outside of what Steve Spurrier did winning a, a, a ACC championship for Duke back in the day. Like, But Mike Elko was one of the, the top performances at Duke of, of all time and coaches is uh, concerned. And so he comes there. I think they have a better understanding of who they want to be. I think more guys are going to be held accountable on that on that campus and what they're doing when they're not inside the building. I think Mike Elko brings a lot of that continuity and some really good ideas. Um, but I'm just have been burned, so I'm not ready to jump on that boat with you. And I don't trust that. You know, I need Connor Wegman. Like everything's going to be based upon him. He's going to have a lot of big things, and everybody's going to talk about how great he is. But it's too bad that every time we talk about Connor Wegman, we lead off by saying if he's healthy, yeah, oh, or yeah. when he's healthy. Yeah. And the best ability is availability. You guys have all heard that, and that's a lot of coach talk. But there's nothing. There's not a more truer statement. That and that potential is the worst compliment in sports. The truth also. Of sportsmanship is the most overrated thing in sports. That's my opinion. Okay. My wife also tells me, don't be telling the kids that in flag football. Okay, I want, I want to come back to that. <laughs> you told your kids that you'd leave uh, mom for Dua Lipa, right? I, yes, I, I mean, did. I, I don't think they I'm would gone. hate, they wouldn't hate I'm that. Out. So that'd be a good stepmom, right? I'm, I'm out. I told them. <laughs> I'm out. And you get two Christmases, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Talented <you tonight. laughs> one, one of them funded by, one of them funded by Dua Lipa. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. What are we talking about? Yeah. No, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. Hey, so, so great. horns down, you're okay. No sportsmanship. So if I do that to Dunaway. No, that's a flag. Well, but he says he doesn't believe in sportsmanship. I think I, I do believe in it. I just think it's the most overrated thing in sports. Okay. So That's do you all... like watching Miami back in the day where they taunted everybody? I, I I loved it. I mean, if you don't want me to taunt, then beat me. Yeah. Like, and, and so, and I learned this because in between the white lines on Sundays, dude, I remember it like it was yesterday. My very first NFL game, I get out there. Kellen Winslow catches a ball on me. Kellen Winslow Jr. I'm not that old. Kellen Winslow Jr. catches a ball. And he gets up and starts, like, cursing and, like, talking all this trash, pointing my finger. And I'm looking at the ref like, are you going to stop this guy? Like, yeah. because you can't talk trash like that in college when I was first coming out. And then I made a play, and I just kind of got up because I didn't know. And then all my old guys was like, start talking reckless to this dude, like <laughs> reckless to him. And I'm like, oh, so this is what it is. <laughs> That's how it works. This is how it works. They're like, yeah, bro, when you make your play, you got to let him know. And because in between the white lines, nobody cares about where you come from. They don't care about how much money you make. They don't care about what car you drive. They don't care who you're dating, what you're doing. It's all about what you're doing. And respect is only earned never given. And so as long as I got to go out there and earn it, I'm going to make him earn it too. And so I'm not going to be nice about it. I'm not going to apologize for competing. I'm trying to take that dude's head off and pass it back to him and say, let's do it again. And so that is the mindset that I was raised on. And when I coach or I'm around young people or I'm around this football game in between the white lines, like, I don't care. I, I it's like, I just, I just think it's so overrated. And my wife always gets on to me because she's like, Roman, you know, they're young, they're da da da. And I'm like, dude, I don't care. I don't care. If you're on the field. Why are you walking? Like, don't be walking. <laughs> it's like, bothers me because these kids, it, it, my kids, I don't want to say these kids, but my kids. Sorry. Yeah. That's on cool. my soapbox. Okay. Right. We, we've got, so, we got some fun things because we know you have your ESPN hit. Uh, but as LT gets ready to, to I can't to do, believe you guys got me to admit I'm leaving my wife for Dua. No, no it's that, never gonna happen. That, that'll never. That's be. what my kids keep telling me. When I keep saying, "Don't that's say that," yeah, we yeah. might bump in each other to Super Bowl. Yeah. Don't doubt the uh, the game, Sergeant. Yeah. Still, still got it. Yeah, still got it. Yeah, we'll never cut that out and tag Dua Lipa in it at all. <laughs> <laughs> at all. Hey, you're uh, listen. This is a compliment. Your wife ain't gonna hurt either. No, like, no, if, no, she's if, not. If you leave, she's gonna be just. No, good. she'll she'll be good. She will rebound. <laughs> There's no doubt about she it. She will rebound. Well, yeah, she, she yeah. will she, rebound. She's yes. beautiful and um, she and she and, and at that point she's married for money. And the second Christmas will be you. Right. That's yeah. paying for it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> NFL money. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, Hydra Live brings us this part of the show, and then we're gonna give a, you you the chance to win some prizes. IV therapy, uh, cryotherapy, compression therapy, all under one roof. Turnkey. Two great locations in Birmingham. Homewood, Highway 119 in Greystone, also Tuscaloosa. Make sure you mention the next round, 20% off any of those great services. They're open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Ask about memberships as well. HydroLiveTherapy.com for more information. Okay, so uh, 
Got envelopes here. LT, what are we doing with the envelopes? Just draw one of these. This is for coming on the show. Mm -hmm. All right. Number you can't one, really I, go wrong. You're, okay, you're, I was like, I, I don't like how fast you're moving that. You're trying to woo me no, 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 a certain no, way. No. All right, I'm gonna go there. Okay, right. okay. Thank you. Open it up. Open light. it up. See what okay. guy. Okay. Feels okay. light. Feels yeah. kind of light. Is that what you say to the boosters <laughs> at Bama? <laughs> yeah. Maybe this is for, <laughs> this is progression. You're gonna get to a big, bigger yeah, prize later on. Okay, I can take this. You what choose, we got? Uh, it's Applebee's. You choose the amount from twenty five to five hundred dollars. Well, actually, we no. chose twenty five. Oh dang! I was like, I can't shoot. I, you I was like, you're not them. eating for two years for five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> they got dollaritas. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be on there for two years. Okay, now you got to be an athlete to it. Okay, come walk back. Go up to the next price. Right. Got to be an athlete. Right. So just for you, you the Michael region. Yes. Okay, for, Michael. just for participating. Roman is in our drawing also for the Roback gift card. Roman loves that Roback two hundred fifty dollar gift card. Uh, TNR twenty at checkout uh, to save twenty percent on your first order. Okay, oh, so. so you come up here or anywhere around this line. You just need to, uh, you get two shots. One or both go in. You get whatever envelopes in there. And this guy cash. What if I make both? Do I get? Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, because I, I practiced this growing up. Uh -oh. right, so but, you're going grand prize game. So yes. people have been torn on this. Some people have had success under. Some people have had success. No, I'm definitely under. Okay. Yeah. Right. Nobody hit two. Nobody hit two. All right. Well, welcome to the show, fellas. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, two run. <laughs> Welcome to the effing show. <laughs> uh, I guarantee you, I, I feel like my guy's got $200. Oh, probably. <laughs> What's in there? What's in there? All right. Pull both. Pull uh, both. All right. We'll pull both. Yeah. Look at right. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Wait, are you not entertained? I am entertained. Are you not entertained? I'm okay. Glad, There's glad your two. Right. two soon. Let's see what we got. All right. Uh, Okay. Man, once again, feels kind of light. Yeah. Right. Right. Cool, our cash. All right, I got 50. 50? That's, that's, that's good. Nobody's pulled a 50 yet. Oh, right. nobody's pulled a 50? Uh, no, no, I'm no, breaking no. a lot of first today, guys. Uh, 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 the uh, suspense uh, is this, killing you. This is going to put him in the lead. Uh, all right. If, if this is a C note. If this is 100, he's the lead. I don't know. They they sealed it pretty tight. So we might have to. Uh, oh, I'm he's, not mad. He's bumped at a 20. Yeah, I bumped. am bumped at a 20. You can't start at 50 and all of a sudden drop me down. You, know so you got 70 and Applebee's, man. <laughs> I did. That's a hundred dollars. Yeah. A hundred dollars. I'm back. Oh, that is fantastic. You haven't had any other treats like that in media, right? No. Yeah. yeah. I'm winning today. Yeah. Make yeah. sure they know upstairs we're giving away cash. Hey, cash money, yeah. dog. Yeah. Our cash. Two for two. Hey, we, we were talking about media members get more excited now than the players. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're like, because Tyler Booker got a 20. Yeah. Like, Funny. Yeah. yeah. Wipe my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Rowe left his gift card. Yeah. His, oh, uh, he did. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> his name is Shane. Oh, Shane's yeah. as big as his chest. What what, do you, what I, you I think, estimated what, what, 75 to 100 for that. What do you think? More? I, I need to look at it because, you know, it's all about, uh, you yeah. know, with with color with, cut with clarity, ring, that's everything. it. That's yeah. it. It's all about the C's. You know what I mean? Yeah. The cut the clarity. Is it VSOPs? You know what I mean? Is it yeah. VSs? Like <laughs> those things matter. Um, and he, I think he had a little bit of color in there too. So, I mean, you know, you can do some different things and dress it up and, you know, and then I could also just take it to the, the jewelry stop, this jewelry shop and get it clean before I show up on TV and now I'm shining. So, so if, if, yes. Yes. If, what would your beautiful wife do if Dua Lipa wanted to take you to the end ball next year? I mean, babe, I mean, you kind of got to let me ride. Yeah. Right? I mean, I mean, it's an opportunity. You never know who we may meet. What's that stuff you spray on your chest? Oh, um. Abilene. Abilene? No, Abilene. <laughs> they don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about that. You got to put that Abilene on there. You got that natural glow. Yeah. It looks like sweat, but it's not. Yeah. It's just a glow. <laughs> it just helps, like, uh, brighten it up. You know, you guys saw my Instagram. Oh, was, I was, I was I ahead of the curve. Yeah. Uh, I am hoping Dua Lipa answer, reaches out and see what. Have, right. have you been, because you talked about your watch board at Regents. Have you been poolside yet? Uh, no, I have not so far. I mean, only in the backyard. Well, it's a good pool up there. You got to check it out. Karen says, Seabass, Seabass just got a nice tip from us. Seabass <laughs> 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 yeah. is really happy. <laughs> I have not, man. I didn't bring my, uh, my, my swimsuit. So. Oh, they, they sell them in the uh, gift shop. Yeah. No, I'd rather go buy a golf boat. polo and go play golf. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Man, after my own heart. Have fun. Yeah, man. All right. Always good to see you, buddy. Hey, man, I Thank appreciate you, you boys. Yeah. Thank you. I can't I get to leave with gifts. That's I, right. I, yeah. I mean, right. you guys usually give me a shirt or some alcohol, but yeah. I, I, I'll take <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll you beer. I'm coming back for that. <laughs> Don't worry about that. One and only Roman Harper brought to you in part today by our friends at Odie's. Great place to go. Man. Yeah, Rockstar tonight is Wednesday, which means that would be trivia. Woo!
Odie's Team Trivia, Rockstar, Will Haver, maybe a special guest that's going to be at the original location in Crestline, newest location in Edgewood. Get in, enjoy great food from Rodney Davis, award-winning wings, delicious burgers, great sandwiches, ice-cold beer buckets, full of Bud Light, two locations. Get in, see Will Haver, and that great staff at Odie's Tavern. i got to get tighter pants. Yeah. Oh, yep. these are my Miami pants. So I, I wore these. I got these custom built, uh, done for uh, Art Basel. So I wanted to go down there, you know, to the, you know, have a little bit of the, you know, I just come back from Paris and, you know, seeing the Louvre and all that stuff. So I was really feeling myself. And so I had to get the, you know, the cream colored pants, just a little cut up, show a little bit of ankle, man. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. South Florida. <laughs> just bring it to Dallas because it's hot as hell here. Uh, just start, just start, start right there. Do it. What are you going to do when your up. kids want to spend money like you do on your wardrobe? <laughs> Dude, well, if you make it, you can do it. <laughs> and I, I was always taught, all right? One of my teammates gave me the best word of advice ever. His name's Charles Grant. He went to Georgia, and uh, he did a whole bunch of other stuff. But he always told me, it ain't tricking if you got it. Yeah. <laughs> so if you got it, it ain't tricking. I mean, yeah. hey, that's what T.I. says, that's right? That's what yeah. You can have whatever you like.